Well, Foreign Minister Penny Wong says that Australia is deeply concerned by these allegations, what Canada is describing as credible allegations of a potential link between Indian government-backed agents and the death of Canadian citizen Hardeep Singh Najjar. Now, he was a prominent figure within the Sikh separatist movement, which is pushing for the establishment of an independent homeland known as Khalistan, and he was designated a terrorist by India several years ago. He died after being shot outside a temple in British Columbia in June and his son has said that he has always suspected Indian involvement and that he's relieved by this announcement that has been made by Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. India though is scathing. It has uh, rejected these allegations as absurd and motivated and it's expelled a Canadian diplomat in response. But Justin Trudeau said today that Canadians deserve to know what has happened here. We are not uh, looking to um, provoke or escalate. We are simply laying out the facts as uh, we understand them and uh, we want to work with the Government of India uh, to lay everything clear and to ensure uh, that there is proper process. Now, we've just heard from Penny Wong in New York City. She is there for the United Nations General Assembly this week, and she says that Australia has expressed its concerns to India at senior levels. And Australia's Foreign Minister Penny Wong has just finished speaking to reporters on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Also there is our North America correspondent, Carrington Clark. Carrington, good morning. So the minister made some remarks about that bitter Canada-India dispute. What did she have to say? Yeah, I mean, this is a difficult line for the Foreign Minister Penny Wong to walk. On one, on one hand, you have Canada and Australia, both members of the Five Eyes intelligence sharing uh, enterprise. And then on the other hand, you have Australia and India, both part of the Quad security dialogue. Uh, but Penny Wong was pushed on this issue. She is here to attend High Level Week uh, here at the United Nations. Uh, and she said that these are concerning reports. Look, uh, these are concerning uh, reports. Uh, and I note that investigations are still underway, uh, but obviously uh, these are concerning reports. And as I've said, yeah, we have, we are monitoring these developments closely with our partners, uh, and will continue to do so. These. This is important uh, phrasing, obviously, concerning reports used repeatedly because she does have to walk this diplomatic tightrope. Uh, Penny Wong will be addressing uh, the UN General Assembly later in the week, but also importantly, she will be attending the United Nations Security Council tomorrow as well.